In this tutorial, we're going to create a simple address book application. We'll start by creating a new data source for our address book site. We can choose from an internal database, the external database, flat file, FTP, but let's just go with a simple internal database, in which case we just need to provide a name. And I'll just call it address book and click finish. So now we have a data source for our site. I'll open it up and it'll bring up an empty data box window. Here we'll go ahead and add our first file. We'll just call this file hello. This will be the start point. And we'll go with a standard form and click OK. Databox opens up that new file inside the editor. And we can start by simply dragging out a box for our backdrop. And we'll drag and drop in a texture. And for that texture, we will add an effect to it, an emboss. And then we'll drag out a text box and type in the text address book. And we'll make that bold and we'll make it a bit bigger. And we'll go ahead and put a drop shadow on that. Then we'll go ahead and drag and drop in an image. And we'll position and size the image in the upper right hand corner and maybe put a drop shadow on top of that as well. So we've created a simple hello page. We'll save this. We can go to the viewer and then we can say preview in browser to see what our applet looks like so far. This will launch the browser. It'll load the plugin. And the plugin will load our new hello document and this is what our plain applet looks like. So I'll go ahead and close that and then let's go ahead and create a new table so we can add some data to our application. So I'll say new table and I'll call this our friend table and we'll go ahead and add some fields to it. Name, new property, address, and then we'll get some fields of different data types like salary, we'll call number, maybe change it to be a float and birthday which will change to be a date and maybe a friend type which we will change to be a choice and we'll add the choices good friend, great friend, best friends forever. So with this selected we'll go ahead and click OK and Databox will create the table for us. So now we can populate it with some sample data just by clicking add record and we'll go with our friend John Doe on Main Street who makes $10,000 and his birthday is today and his friend type is good. We'll add another friend, Susan Smith on Elm Street. Her salary is $20,000. Her birthday is Christmas of 92 and we'll change her friend type to be great. And we'll add a friend, Fred Johnson, on Oak Street, making 25000 born May 5th of 96, and he'll be a best friend. Now we've got our three records in here. And we can go back to our hello page, go back into edit mode, and then we'll drag and drop in some application components. So let's drag in a list so we can show all of our friends and pick them. And we'll drag and drop in some fields. So we'll create one for name and address and salary and birthday. And then for our friend type, let's go ahead and drag and drop in a combo box. Now under keys, we'll now see our list of friends. So let's drag and drop that into the document. And we're given a choice of standard reporting tools or an application binder, which is what we want in this case. So I'll click OK to get a friend binder. I can start by dragging and dropping a connection from the friend binder to the component we want to bind to. 
and I can drag and drop in the name onto one of the aspects that we want to bind to, in this case values. But I can also drag and drop keys straight onto the components and it'll choose the most logical aspect to bind to. So here we might drag in name and address, salary, birthday, and friend type. Then for salary, let's go ahead and turn on some dollar sign formatting. Let's also add a couple of buttons for adding and removing uh, new friends. So this one we'll call add, and this one we'll call remove. Under add, we'll go ahead and set this binding manually just have it go to the friend binder and tell it binder add 